Natural navigation is an ancient skill that has become lost through the advances in modern technology. But if modern technology has taught us anything, it is that it fails. At the worst time and at the worst possible place. In this video, I'm going to show you eight easy to learn ways to discover direction without the aid of a compass, a GPS device, or a map. Mastering the skill is critical should you become separated from your group while you're hiking, or you just find yourself lost in an urban or rural environment. The sun is probably the most familiar method that anybody knows how to discover north without the aid of a compass. Of course, the sun appears to rise in the east and sets in the west. And if you find yourself close to this time of the day, it is extraordinarily easy to discover the direction that the sun is traveling. But the sun is not the only celestial body that moves through the heavens. The countless stars we see at night also move from east to west. And in just a short period of time, you can track the direction that the stars are traveling and thereby determine which way is north. The other celestial body that we can use at night or during the day is the moon. Like all other celestial bodies, the moon appears to rise in the east and sets in the west. But the moon provides us additional clues to help us determine our direction. As the moon orbits the earth, it cycles through eight distinct phases. The four primary phases occur about a week apart from each other. Regardless of whether the moon is waxing or waning, if you draw an imaginary line from tip to tip on whatever size that the crescent is, that will give you a north and south direction of travel. And while all the other celestial bodies have moved through the heavens to help us determine east, west, north, and south, there is one that does not move and that is Polaris, or the North Star. To find the North Star, we can use the Big Dipper. And we know that rivers generally travel in a direction. Although it may bend and turn, rivers will always travel from high ground to low ground. Now depending on where you are, rivers will primarily move in a direction. Maybe it's east, south, or west. And like our rivers, our mountains generally run in a direction. Weather patterns also provide us predictability when it comes to determining direction. Now based on your location and the time of year, you've probably already noticed that clouds generally move in a direction. Maybe it's the warm winds that come off the sea. Maybe you've picked up on the direction that a cold front moves in and through your area. Maybe it's the storms that always move in a direction. Using these clues can help you to determine direction. It can be just as easy to become lost in the city as it is in the mountains. But the urban environment also gives us clues to help us to determine direction. Traffic patterns tend to move like a heartbeat. The city pumps in from the neighboring cities in the morning and pushes the community back out at the end of the day. This can help us to predict direction during rush hour. And when surveyors and urban engineers began to develop the design for the city, they often used direction of travel to assist to maximize time and space. Roads are often cut in moving north and south or east and west to create a grid. 
Many cities went further and used a grid-based naming system using numerals or letters. While there is little consistency between city to city as to which direction these streets travel, once you know your city, it can help you to determine direction. And on the macro level, the federal government funded the efforts to construct a national road grid during the 1900s. And while there are exceptions, odd numbers run north and south with numbers increasing from east to west, and even numbers run east to west with numbers increasing from south to north. And this extends not just with the names, but also with the mile marking system. Mastering these basic skills will enable you to develop confidence in yourself regardless of your location. And they can lead you to successfully learn more advanced skills which will further hone your bushcraft. If you want to master your fieldcraft or develop your tactical virtue, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so that you can stay up to date on future content.